Hey there, Vault Dwellers, Naked Vault Dweller here, and in this video we're going to cover some of the things that Bethesda's changed on the roadmap for 2021 and what we can expect to see in the last quarter of 2021. If you like tips and tricks and how-tos mixed in with some news and poorly executed dad jokes, then you're in the right spot. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below, and while you're there, go ahead and hit the like button. Lastly, if you hit that notification icon, you'll know exactly when I release another video. All right, so we're on the last half of 2021, and we've had a heck of a year to share with Bethesda and Fallout 76. So far, we've seen multiple camp slots added, special loadouts, legendary crafting, legendary power armor, custom worlds, and now we have to look forward to four-star legendaries and what appears to be a new seasonal event, the Mothman Equinox. Additionally, Bethesda's also said that we're going to be able to change our Pip-Boy colors, legendary loot sharing, which we'll talk about in just a few moments and local looting which is what the heck is that and with most of you that already keep up with my content by now bethesda's already launched the pts with some of this new stuff on it but it's yet to been available to any of us to game test now does that mean that bethesda won't release it sometime over this weekend or 10 minutes from now or you know tonight I have no idea. What I can say with almost 100% certainty is Bethesda will let us know probably on Discord 10 minutes before they decide to release all this on the public test server. And meanwhile, that leaves most of us just speculating what some of this stuff might be and how it's going to unfold in the Fallout 76 universe. And with Val Seek letting us know in the 11th hour that there won't be camp pets and there won't be invaders from beyond, who's to know? <laughs> Who's to freaking know? But I will add that Valseek and all the other community managers that are out there for Fallout 76, that we do appreciate your effort inside of our community and we'd love to see it grow. But with that, I want to just speculate, what do you think some of these things are? What the heck is legendary loot sharing? Does that mean that if I happen to fall upon a legendary and kill that legendary and you just so happen to be in the area, you can also get the legendary item off of the legendary? A lot of legendaries in there. Or does that mean that if I kill something with a legendary item and you so happen to have a legendary item and you can also loot the corpse that I just killed because you have a legendary item? That's just, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. Or what if we replace the word legendary and just name it normal loot sharing? Does that change how we look at this? Stick with me here, folks. Maybe what they're trying to say is, is all the items we weren't able to trade before and all the items that we weren't able to sell before that were based upon legendary items, we can now sell them and trade them like any other legendary. And what I can say with 100% certainty is that your guess is as good as mine on this one. The next thing that I thought was super inquisitive was local looting. And while this seems to be a little bit more self-explanatory, it doesn't necessarily mean exactly what it says or what we think it might be. When I read this, I think automatically that it has to do with multiple bodies laying on the ground and all their items being tied together. And I can see this being exceptionally helpful in certain events such as Daily Ops, The Scorch Beast Queen, Rad Rumble. If all we had to do was just access one body and everything that we've killed throughout the whole event was there, that would be a complete time saver. But of course, that may not be the case as well. What does local looting mean to you? I hope to give you more answers, but Bethesda said that they'd open the PTS up to to us in early autumn. Okay, so maybe 10 minutes from now, uh, who knows. And what I can tell you folks with almost 100% certainty is that the Spooky Scorch is going to be available to us for the seasonal event from October 19th to November 2nd and the end of season 6, December 1st. So when will we see the Night of the Moth? Your guess is as good as mine there too, folks. So I feel kind of bad I've posed more questions than I've actually produced answers. If any of you guys out there that might have an inkling of an answer of what Bethesda has in store for us, leave us a comment down below. I would love to read through those. And with that, I'd like to say thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. But I don't think you want to find her, honey. World already had all the monsters it could stomach. See what you mean? Well, that clown shows up around here anytime soon. They'll have me to deal with. So don't you worry, Miss Duchess. I'll take care of you.